Hey y'all, so it's question and answer Friday, so let's see. Well, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to finish my last words for the day, so that'll be uh, my 1,000, and that'll get me to about my 5,000 for the week. Um, I have about, uh, once those are done, I have about 8,000 left to reach my 40,000 goal, so that'll be uh, finishing this story off before, I think, my deadline, which will be good because I'm going to get vaccinated about the week that I was supposed to finish. So if I don't feel good, I can just take some breaks. Um, so uh, the question this week I had was, why don't I read reviews? And the, most most authors who are you know who have done this for a while, they don't read the reviews. Um, we are always told that readers re- reviews are for readers, and um, it's just better you know not to to read uh, to for me to read them. Um, I did when I first started out, but. Now I, you know, I work with an editor and I have a a, read, uh, a beta reader and I don't really feel that I need to read reviews anymore. Um, plus that they're so subjective, uh, even like, you know, if you like look at movie reviews or music reviews and all art reviews, you know, it's, it's personal preference what you uh, enjoy and what you don't enjoy in a book. So, I mean, I write the stories that I write and that's the character's told me what they want for the story and if you don't enjoy it well there's not really much I can do it's not like I'm going to change it especially for that like for trade publishers you know you could write a review to a trade published book but they're not going to change that book just because you didn't enjoy it um so I kind of have you know the same thinking I you know I'm done with this book I I edited it as best as I can and there's going to be no perfectly edited book no matter what you do and I'm, I moved on from it. So, yeah, I might go back and fix some of my older ones because, you know, like I said, those had some errors and problems and, you know, my redundancy and all that stuff. But I, I've moved on from those books and there's no really for me no interest to read reviews about them. And plus, that, you know, a lot of authors also have like a, a self-esteem issue. So they tend not to read reviews because it just causes more problems than it, than it fixes and then, it, and you know, it causes their attitude and depression or anxiety or mental issues or whatever they have to flare. And, you know, it stops us from writing something new or finishing what we're writing. So that's that's basically why I, I don't I'm not interested in reading reviews. I, I did the best I can. And, you know, like I said, if you don't like the story, well, there's not much I can do about it. I, I'm not going to change it to suit your needs. I mean, uh, I wrote what I wrote and. That, that's just the end of it. So I guess that's the answer for that. I don't I don't know. There's not much more I can say. So and plus that like I said, I talked about Goodreads before and Goodreads is just, you know, such a horrible place to go to to read reviews because there's everybody there's there's people there who just uh enjoy causing mischief and you know, giving you a one star review just because they don't like you or you know, you might have said something online that they don't agree with. And, and it's not even based on your story. It's just they don't like you as a person. So, yeah, so that's basically my answer. I just don't, I just don't, I'm not interested in them. I, I just don't care. I. It's not that I don't care. It's just I don't have the interest to, to know what you have to say about my story. I wrote it and I moved on from it and I'm writing something new. So if you like my stories, awesome. And if you don't, well... There's not much I can change for that. So I guess that's it for today. And I'm going to take off and get my work done and give you more stories. So see ya. And, you know, if you want to do the subscribe thing, that would be awesome. All right. I will be back over the weekend. See ya.